Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we got a 1979 Trans Am. This one here has the common 350 0010 is what the back of the motor ends with. It's got power steering. The AC and stuff is all here. It is not working. I'm not sure what we're going to get into about that. We do have a uh, blower motor heat and all that. The compressor's just not kicking on. This one does have front disc brakes, drum in the rear, good tires all the way around. Car needs a paint job. I'm going to be pointing out any kind of rust issues, big dents. Uh, as far as the paint goes, you can see the clear coat's coming up on it. It's going to need a paint job. But basically what I'm going to do in this video is look for the any kind of rust issues. We're going to check the floor pans out. We're going to check the interior out and see what all this car needs. That way you know everything about it before you get here. If you look at this one, you look at some other ones that we have. We have another 79 that's really nice. It is 20 grand. This one is 13 grand. And this is the reason. It needs a paint job. It needs a little bit of work here and there. Let's get started up here in the front. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping information, and detailed pictures. So we know it needs paint. You can see all the little cracks and paint chipping off everywhere. A little bit of a gap here on this little plastic fender in the front. We're going to run down the bottom portion and look for any rust. If I see it, I will point it out. Looks pretty solid so far, though. In pretty good shape. As far as the rust goes. Exhaust coming out the sides here. Coming down the mid section. Paint's still popping off everywhere. That's a plastic bumper in the rear, so it's not gonna rust. Door handle's got a little bit of pitting. And uh, there's a dent right here. See, this kind of stuff's what I wanna point out. Got to get that dent pulled. We will be shutting the hood down towards the end of the video and seeing how it lines up. The trim on this car is a bit faded. A little polish should clean all of that up. Front windshield's in good shape. It's not cracked or chipped. Clear coat's just completely gone off of this car. Now coming around this back, we're going to check this trunk out, see if it's, you know, taking on any water. Uh, it looks like some water moisture has been getting in here. You can see the wetness right there. Uh, you see some rust popping up in the floor pan. It may need a new trunk pan. This side looks nice and solid, but right here in the low spot, you can see it's bubbling up like it had some rust on it. You can see up in the package tray, it's got some rust up in the corner here. I'm going to pop up. There you go. Just a little bit better. These two edges over here look a little bit rusty compared to uh, the rest of them. I'm trying to get it to focus here, guys. In just a second. Let's see what I can do. Is it popping up yet? Definitely some rust over there in the corner. Uh, if you can't see it on here, I'm trying my best here. You can look at the detailed pictures on my website. There we go. The weather stripping looks pretty good all the way around. I do got some rust up in these corners. That's what we're seeing on the inside there. You got some rust up here under the wing. Okay, let's see how it shuts. Shuts down pretty good, nice and solid. Coming down this side of the car, we're gonna be looking for any rust in the bottom of the doors. We've seen some there in the trunk so far. There's a little bit of bubbling popping up here. That is rust there. Let's 
looks like this car's just got a very small amount coming through on the body here. I haven't really seen anything major around these doors or lower portions of the car. Okay, we've made it all the way around. Got a lot of paint missing here on the edge. Got a chip up here, which is down to the metal. And the bird is gone. So we're gonna go ahead and check the interior out now, get this thing started up, give you some undercarriage shots and shut the hood. And we'll get back to the test drive. Running and driving wise, this thing's been awesome. Definitely watch that test drive video. Seat's in pretty good shape. You can tell the interior's been this way for a while. It really isn't too bad. A little bit of fading here and there, like on top where the window meets the trim. Package tray is definitely going to need to be replaced. See, it's kind of bubbled up, and you got some paint chipping off on your panels there. Your headliner's in good shape. You need a new light. Checking the door out. It's in good shape. It's not beat up. The weather stripping's in good shape as well. You do have some bubbles down here on the bottom corner of that door. Checking the rest. Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think that horn works? A little game we like to play. Somebody said they wanted to know what these cars smell like. Well, this one right here actually smells like cherry pie. <laughs> Go ahead and start her up. Starts up nice and easy. Oil pressure's up to about 50 on the dash there. Engine temperature is uh, about 180 where it needs to be. Gas gauge quarter tank volts is up to about 12, 13. Tack does work. The wipers do work. Do have the face to the radio in the office. Your blower motor cuts on, but the AC compressor does not cut on. The dash is faded. You can see it's faded white from the sun. And the horn. It works. You also have a tilt column in this one so you can get in and out easier. Looks like they replaced it with an electric fan inside the shroud. It's blowing nice and hard. So. Coming down with the hood, I like to shake it back and forth. If you just pull down on these old long hoods, they will literally bend. As you can see, this one's actually sitting high on this side and it looks like it was bent a little bit here in the middle you can reverse that but there's only so many times you can actually do that the bird's got to come off the hood's got to be repainted the whole car needs to be painted I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots. We're gonna start up in the front, go all the way around the car. Check out maplemotors.com for detailed pictures and financing. You can also ship these cars all over the nation. Let's look under.
I appreciate y'all watching these videos. Watch the test drive video located the last 30 seconds of this one, and you'll know everything about this car. Then give us a call, 615-822-4444. We'll do our best to help you out. And you already know, maplemotors.com has shipping, financing, all of our inventory, wheels, tires, parts, accessories. And there's getting ready to be a frequently asked question section to the website. Because we get all these questions on repeat pretty much every day for the last 38 years. So we figured we'd go ahead and add a section to answer all of your questions. Hit that test drive video and also share these videos. It helps us out greatly when y'all do that. I appreciate y'all watching. Later, guys.